know, people. I'll tell you, I do wish that I could play music for you. I do wish I could just play the music for you. I'm listening to it's um, Tuesday morning, 21st of, of April. I'm listening to Flora Purim, Purim Purim, however you say her name, from Brazil. This is a live album of hers, um, 500 Miles High, live at Montro. For a while, she was married to the um, jazz percussionist Ayrto Moreira. Oh, what, an, what a thrilling, what a thrilling album. Wonderful music, wonderful playing, high spirits. This is really good, really good. Hey folks, I'm glad that um, you folks pick up on, you know, my uh, enthusiasm about music. Um, I can't lie, you know, if I like something, it comes out. And if I don't, <laughs> and um, I just want to say in passing, I think some of you folks are taking, some of the wrong people are taking me personally, Okay. Let me put it like this before I go on. If in, if in person you were to encounter me and we have moments where we say things that don't quite line up, in person it would be laid to rest rather easy because the context of, of um, being there, to, you know, it makes such a difference. So many of you people are not even real to me because I go and look at your... Um, You'll make a comment, it's interesting, and I'll go and look and see who you are, and there's nothing. So, try to understand that that has a little bit to do with the way I respond. But I don't mean anything mean, I'm just being real direct and just... Ain't nothing mean about me just telling you what I have to say, okay? So, if you take it personally, I don't know why, okay? <laughs> I'm just setting some boundaries, you know. Put the shoe on the other foot. You go public and talk about things really honestly and see how it goes. See how it, how you feel dealing with the gamut of people from very smart, kind people to complete idiots and jerks who just come over here and want to swear at you and tell you they know what the time of day is and and, and they don't. And I respond in kind. So try to understand. I'm not a mean guy. I'm real. I'm honest. That's what it is. I'm not about ass kissing or pleasing people. I'm just me. Okay. So I got some more records. And here's what that is about. When I sold my CD, this last one, 2020, um, it's, it's sold out immediately. So that was, I made the money back immediately and the rest was profit. Since I'm stuck at home and the main thing I need to do is cover my bills and make sure that the house is standing and I have plans for that, I'm free to spend that, um, profit. So that's what I've done. And I got another, I got another order of records. I've been wanting this on vinyl since it came out in 2005. I love prog rock, but there's a lot of prog rock that is pretentious and fake, and I don't like that. This is progressive in the true sense, but also in a way that is very, very accessible. Kino, picture. Uh, some of the guys in the band, well, the drummer Chris Maitland was the original drummer for Porcupine Tree. I want to make sure I talk about him. But this album is wonderful. Um, this is a remastered version that just came out in 2017. Um, every song is wonderful on here. Every song. Very melodic. The words are not the issue to me. No, the words are just like, they're words, okay? It's the music and the melody and the playing. I want to specifically talk about the drumming. Chris Maitland was the original drummer from, from Porcupine Tree. 
really liked his playing because it was emotional. He plays with an emotional um, edge. So when Gavin Harrison joined uh, Porcupine Tree, it was obvious that Gavin Harrison is a very skilled technician and really can play the drums inside out. Very creative, but not emotional. Chris Maitland's drumming with Porcupine Tree Plus on here is almost on the same level of skill as Gavin Harrison, but it's emotional, which gives it that edge. And it just makes the music pop open at times, explode at times, other times rush ahead. Um, very important aspect of the music is the rhythm. The drumming on here is exceptional, very emotional. I love this album. I was so happy to be able to get this on vinyl. Kino. They have a more recent album which I've listened to online and it hasn't caught yet. This is one of those albums kind of like the National Health Records where you get it right, you really can't get it right more than once, seemingly that well. You know what I mean? This is not new, but it, I had it out. I have it out because this is good for stress. And listening to the news and the fact that the ongoing COVID situation with health versus trying to keep business get, get the keep the country running it's making people crazy so this is good for stress laraji essence universe just gorgeous gorgeous ambient flowing music signed by laraji highly recommend this for you folks that need to calm your nerves Mm. Just that picture alone lets you know. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll get you there. It'll, it'll take you there. You know, I'm glad that people are picking up on this Mother Night. It is that good. I've got more records like that that you've never heard of that supposedly hip people have never heard of. See, again, that has a lot to do with why I have this attitude that I have, which is I'm not putting nobody above me. You're nobody more of an expert than I am, even though, even though you are. But I'm not putting nobody above me, you know? Do you follow me? I'm not putting you below me, but I'm just coming correct how I feel, you know? Yeah. Tarkus by Emerson Lincoln Palmer. This is my favorite by them. Played this all the way through both sides. This is, this is a... To me, a classic progressive rock album, Tarkus. Love it. Love the cover. Got into this last night. Um, one of the drummer on here, Tani Tano Tabai, is a friend on a Facebook, but I really haven't engaged him yet. After listening to this last night, I'm going to send him a message to ask him about this session. Strata Institute, Cypher Syntax, with Steve Coleman and Greg Osby, as well as Tani on drums and some other great players. This is really quite good modern jazz. I think that in a way this didn't do well commercially because it's not fire jazz, it's thinking jazz. These guys have some interesting ideas. They can play them well, but unless you get caught up in the ideas, Emotionally, it's not really all that compelling to me. I, I don't feel a lot, but I enjoy the playing and the ideas. Strata Institute. Here is a classic. I've probably shown this before. Played this all the way through. And it just, this album really explains what Quincy Jones's uh, personality, walking in space. Quincy Jones is a workaholic who basically has sacrificed his personal life for his work as a music producer as some of you other people know when you get to a certain level with your profession and depending on how driven you are people get sacrificed your life gets sacrificed because you're too busy working um, Quincy Jones has been really honest about that when I've seen interviews with him because he, he's a consummate producer. I mean, I really have great respect for his work. This album, Walking in Space, just really shows you the elements that are important to Quincy. The music has to move him. And the way the album is paced, 
it's almost like a diary of the man and what he's going through elation joy the um you know the the brav the bravura of i'm making something great then the next track is really melancholy probably reflecting on what what he has to sacrifice in order to make that great work maybe thinking about someone he loves that he can't be with because he's chosen the work over the private life Quincy Jones fantastic love him love him here's another one new to the collection been wanting this for a while it's a remaster Canadian band Slosh I don't know if I'm saying it right Sloshe Slosh um Jun Oi Jun O Oi I can look it up I used to take French I've forgotten jazz rock fusion numbered reissue 500 copies wonderful I knew about this they have two albums I've listened to them online quite a bit so I knew that I wanted this this is a very good very flavorful flavorful album um, groups like um, Manige uh, Perig Perigio stuff like that is similar that might not help any of you but this is really good slosh two more that I um, ordered and got in well three actually really happy to get this this is a strange album I've been wanting this forever now this one I'm not gonna recommend it's strange I wanted it though I knew what it sounded like it's an odd record Proyecto A out of Spain this came out in like 1971 um, it's a very strange record it is psychedelic but it also tries to be funky now this thankfully gives a full story of the making of this the singer is some kind of lounge singer and um, just I just got a wild hair up his ass to do this project and it sounds like it it sounds like a lounge singer who got dosed with LSD and it's just odd it really is the uh, mixture of horn arrangements the the choice of harmon harmonies they use some dissonant harmonies it's really weird this is something I wish I could play for you. Proyecto A. This was cool because it comes with the second unreleased album, Proyecto B. I mean, they actually made two of these records. This is some strange shit. It's all spunk, sung in Spanish, which makes it even more surreal. I have no idea what he's singing about. Very strange. I'm glad I got this, though. I got the most recent Universe Zero album, and I didn't know this, but Guy, S Guy Siggers, their original bass player, is no longer in the band. This is their most recent album, uh, Phosphorescent Dreams. Daniel Dennis, the drummer leader of the band, basically did a complete switch up, saying he had to change the band for it to keep going. I like this. It is definitely Universe Zero. The music is based on the percussion, it is. Although the writing is wonderful, these it's like chamber music. And there's kind of a dark, like we're in a kind of a dank, like we're in a a dark, damp room when we hear this room, this music. It's really engaging and it's I'm still not sure what I get from this, but it, it's really good. The last new record I have um, that I got in yesterday. Norwegian band back in the 70s. I bought one of their records new inner voice Rufus That album by the time that album had come out they had become kind of um, Somewhere between trying to be a fusion band and a band like frumpy I used to have frumpy someone asked me if I have frumpy. I, I'm sorry. I sold those records I'd like to get the frumpy back But this is their second album before that and this is um this is their chase in Genesis and yes, and they're doing a good job of it. Rufus Ranchart. This is good. Um, 
they can play and they got they have the right idea they have the chemicals right they have the right proportions of organ mellotron changes rickenbacker bass yeah they got the rickenbacker bass trying to sound like yes on this they do a good job and this is a yellow vinyl reissue really glad i got this rupus good good album and show you one more album before i go keep talking to me folks i am reading your your, your comments like i said some of you folks do miss the um, comments i delete i do still get people coming here saying really stupid things and shouting at me who are you to shout at me you see what i'm saying it's like i don't even know who you are why you come over here making these declarations i don't even know you the unspoken word tuesday april 19th this is listed as psychedelia it's not it's just good um they can play the arrangements are are original it's not rock and roll it's rock music um i think someone mentioned that i showed this and they said they kind of remind me of them no is that another band yes yeah, another band i can't give a comparison right away but except to say that this is really good and some of the songs i noticed that the songs it's good songwriting the musical changes don't go where you obviously think it's going to go next. I love when people are able to pull that off. Okay, folks, it's another day. Remind you that um, Higgs Corner is coming Friday on Adult Swim. Just keep it together, people. Keep it together. Try to understand. If I say things and it rubs you the wrong way, examine that because i have no intention of hurting anyone's feelings or being rude purposely i'm just trying i'm just expressing who i am okay so so stay real with me all right i mean no disrespect i mean no disrespect when you come over here talking trash i'll deal with that as i see fit <laughs>